What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another fragrance review. And I hope you're curious because this fragrance is one that I've got a lot to talk about. This is going to be a pretty quick review, but I love this. Uh, if you follow me on my Instagram, then you know of my love, my absolute admiration for this fragrance, I Am Trash. Okay? Um, it's by the fragrance house Etat Libre de Orange. Um, E-L-D-O for short. Um, E-L-D-O has fragrances that are wild and outlandish. They are known within the fragrance community and outside of it for naming, advertising, and generally uh, appearing as if their fragrances are uh, gag fragrances. Uh, when I first saw an ad for I Am Trash, I thought it was a joke. I seriously thought that this was like, you know, a fake fragrance or something. Uh, it, it had a, a, a negative Fragrantica review that was like one star. And it confused me at first because I was like, why would someone advertise a terrible review? But I quickly realized that it was satire. Um, after looking in to ETAT, I got their uh, almost complete collection sampler pack. Uh, which I talk about on my Instagram, if you're curious. The link will be in the description down from my Instagram page. Uh, you can hear me talk about uh, a few different fragrances from this house that are in that sampler. And I actually got three full bottles. I got two 50ml bottles. I Am Trash is one. I've got Fat Electrician. And then I got the 100ml Big Boy of my absolute favorite fragrance from the house, which I will also do another review on in a separate video, Cologne. Just plain cologne, it's got probably the, the simplest name of any fragrance in the world. Back to I Am Trash, this beautiful fragrance that was one of the first niche perfumes that I wrote a review on on Instagram. Uh, I fell in love with the rose note, with the rose accords because of I Am Trash. Let's talk about this fragrance. First of all, ETAT, or ELDO. They classify this as a floral, woody, fruity. Uh, it is on their scale of gender leaning completely neutral. This, in their eyes, and also in mine, has no masculine or feminine lean whatsoever. Anyone can wear this fragrance. Anyone can enjoy this fragrance, like all other fragrances, but the recommendation officially is also that this has no gender that fragrance was created in partnership with an award-winning creative network V paris i am trash is the first luxury perfume made by upcycling now you're gonna ask what in the heck is upcycling let's talk about that they use trash ingredients to turn trash into a treasure. They turned expired or exhausted rose petals, already used sandalwood chips, already distilled sandalwood chips, and leftover apples from the food industry to create this fragrance. Let's talk about the main notes list, right? Apple essence upcycling, rose absolute upcycling, cedarwood atlas upcycling, bitter orange, and Garrigat Strawberry. Now, the strawberry and fruity notes are very subdued. They don't come across as easily as the rose floral or the apple. Maybe it's buried into the accord of fruitiness up in the, up in the top, but I am definitely sure that my nose is picking up that apple and that rose. And if I've got to be honest, it smells a little bit like a plastic trash bag. I've got to I've got to tell you the truth. And it's funny because I'm not sure if that's something that they were going for with this, but it it does have like a slight slight tinge of plastic trash bag. Um the caps for Etat fragrances as far as the presentation of the bottle goes, this is heavy. This is straight up metal. This is not going to separate from the bottle when you click it into place. It's on there. Um, that's one of the things that I love. Quality. Quality presentation. I just shot 
a review for some authenticity perfumes and one of the biggest reasons why I would never purchase another one of their products presentation this bottle has been with me for a few months no leaks no issues how's the atomizer spray let's give it a good squirt nice and wide distribution is amazing is it a pressurized atomizer yes you can control how much you spray you can spray a tiny squirt well none came out that time or you can spray a nice long squirt okay so awesome presentation fantastic atomizers and that smell the smell of apple trash apples is filling my room excellent siage top tier performance for these and it is a spring summer banger i'm talking about you're gonna feel clean and fresh even though you know you smell like trash no one's gonna think that you smell like trash this smells completely amazing again i'm in love with rose notes and you smell If you can imagine a mix and a chord between rosy, slightly fruity with the apples, you smell apples, and a light hint of plastic trash bag. But that trash bag smell is, I guess it's only in my mind because I've had compliments on this fragrance wearing it. And if I'm being honest, I had a hard time deciding whether or not this is going to be 100 ml or if cologne would be 100 ml. But it all boiled down to me finding this on discounters for a hell of a price. So I ended up getting this at a discounter site and because I could not find cologne, I ended up finding cologne on ETAT's actual website and using the discount card that they gave me with the exploration set or discovery set and that was my full bottle purchase. So I got a nice discount on a full bottle and I was able to pick this up along with Fat Electrician at a discounter and the link will be down in the description from where I bought this. So you too, if you're interested, can pick up I Am Trash. You can give it a smell for yourself and you can let me know what you think about this fragrance because I'm telling you right now, this is blind buy worthy. I was able to sample this ahead of time, but I'm telling you, I am letting you know right this instant. If you go out and blind buy this, if you take me at my word, I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Call me a liar. Call me a fraud. If you take my word for it and you buy this, if you sample this, if you smell this, and you do not enjoy this fragrance, let me know. Hit me up in the comments and tell me that I was completely, completely wrong. Mass pleasing? I think so. I 100% believe it. I mean... People who think fruity smells are amazing are going to love you. People who think rose or floral scents are going to love you. No one's going to think that you smell like trash. And when you tell them the name of this fragrance, I guarantee you it's a conversation starter. My French is terrible, but let's give this a try. Le Fleur du Chet. Du Duchette. Le Fleur du Duchette. I am trash. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think about ELDO fragrances. I actually love them. I'm excited that I got the opportunity to do this review again for YouTube. I'm excited to get the rest of my ETAC collection reviewed for you, the viewers, and to talk to you about these wonderful fragrances that I fell in love with because I actually love all of the fragrances that I purchased from that house. And I probably am going to go back and purchase more. Thank you for checking out my video. I really appreciate it. Anytime anyone watches one of my uh, YouTube videos, puts a smile on my face because I feel like I just had a conversation about fragrance with someone somewhere in the world. Thanks for checking my stuff out. Stay tuned for more ELDO reviews and fragrance content galore.